Welcome. Thank you for joining me today for this guided relaxation. We're going to be thinking about how we can befriend big emotions like anger and frustration rather than keeping them inside and making ourselves feel more angry or guilty or sad. We're going to look at how we can let go of that anger. Our minds are very fascinating things. We'll often hold on to thoughts that maybe don't serve us in a positive way. Thinking them over and over and bringing up certain feelings. Sometimes thoughts can bring us happiness or excitement. But they can also make us feel angry, afraid or upset. Feelings are never wrong or bad, and thoughts are simply things that our minds think. Everyone feels anger sometimes, and anger is not bad or wrong, but we must be mindful of what we say or do when we are angry. We can choose our response to our feelings. Begin by sitting or lying down in a comfortable position. Let your feet rest hip width apart on the floor. Drop them open if you are lying down. Just check in with any tension you might be holding in your body. Perhaps rolling your shoulders, letting your head drop from side to side circling your wrists and ankles. Feel the sensations of your body against the chair or the floor. You might like to close your eyes. Just become aware of your breathing. Allowing yourself to take a few normal breaths. Just feeling the sensations in your body. On your next inhale, we're going to breathe in to a count of four and then out to six. And as you exhale, imagine that you're erasing all of your thoughts as if they were words or pictures on a chalkboard. Slowly seeing all the thoughts and busyness fade away, very slowly, as an eraser glides across the blackboard. Just breathe in, two, three, four, hold, and out, two, three, four, five, six. And in, two, three, four, hold, and out, two, three, four, five, six. And in, two, three, four, hold, and out, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing in this way, allowing it to relax your mind and body. Know that if your mind starts to drift during the relaxation, you can just return to the steady count of the breath. You have nothing to do, nowhere to go. I want you to bring to mind a situation that's recently made you feel angry. It could be very recent, this morning, yesterday. If there's nothing that comes immediately to mind, you might think of something a little further back in the past. 
want you to imagine that that anger is sat in front of you like a friend. If your friend was feeling angry, you might ask them how they are. Why is it that they're feeling angry? See if you can tell. Maybe there's something that they don't like that's happened. Perhaps a conversation. Perhaps someone has taken something from them. What is it that has made them angry and upset? Tell your friend that they are safe with you. You are there to help them. They're allowed to get angry or to calm down. They're in charge. But you are here to help them to feel better. I want you to ask your friend what they need. Listen carefully. Listen with all your heart to their response. Can you hear what they need? What is it? Maybe they need a hug. Maybe they need to just be told that they're okay. Maybe they need to say something about the thing they didn't like. Maybe they just need to tell a story about what it was and to remember that they're in charge of how they feel. Listen to what they need. Okay, now you're going to give your friend what they need. If they've asked for a hug, you can give them a hug. If they need to be listened to, you can give them listening and sit with them a while. See what they need. Imagine that you are the one holding all of the things that they need and you give them to them one by one. Go ahead and give them what they need. Perhaps there are other things. Maybe they need to hear that you love them. Maybe they need to be told some good things to cheer them up. Maybe they need an apology. Listen to what would make your friend feel better. And keep giving them that until they feel better. Are they feeling calmer yet? If not, keep going. Just sitting and listening to what they need. Well done. Whenever you start to feel these big feelings of anger or fear or sadness, Treat them like you would a friend, listening to their needs, being kind to them, giving them space. You are in charge. You can take care of these feelings. They do not have to be bad feelings by listening to them can turn them into good sensations, into kindness and patience and gratitude. Take a long, slow inhale through your nose. Draw it up and into your heart. Hold As you exhale, do so through your mouth. 
feel the breath wash over your body like a golden glowing light. From the tips of your fingers to the soles of your feet. A golden warming light of love and kindness. Just like you are kind to your friend. This light is filling you with that peace and calm towards yourself. And bathe in the glow of the light and carry it with you into your day. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes, return your awareness to the room, stretch, or rest for a while longer. Be kind to yourself. Namaste.